Good evening, I'm Ian Hanamansen. Tonight, new stats confirm it. Canadians went on a summer spending spree. We're hopeful that we're on the path to a bit of recovery for sure. We'll look at the crush to buy clothes, cars, and houses. Enough is enough. With COVID-19 cases rising, BC gets tough on rule breakers. The first thing that we will have in mind after the result is unity, unity, unity. Tens of thousands of Canadian Conservatives are choosing a new leader. Party insiders tell us what's at stake. And keeping a streak alive. You know what, we're going to brighten up a lot of hearts today. Playing through a pandemic to honour history. This is The National. When COVID-19 hit, much of Canada's economy screeched to a halt. Retailers shutting their doors in some cases for months, but new numbers show how that delay created demand and a big retail comeback, at least for now. Sales in June were higher than in February, just before the pandemic was declared, at $53 billion, a nearly 24% gain from May. Sales of new homes ticked up from June to July. And July existing home sales jumped 14% year over year. In a moment, Aaron Salzman looks at where many are choosing to live, but let's start with Aaron Collins and what people are buying in stores. At this Vancouver clothing store, shoppers are back, browsing and buying. Uh, this is my first time actually shopping for clothes since March. Sales are up here, still they're just half of pre-pandemic levels, but hope has returned. I think every business is in a different circumstance right now, but we're, we're hopeful. We're hopeful that we're on the path to a bit of recovery for sure. Ontario and Quebec led Canada's retail resurgence. Clothing, furniture and cars were at the top of Canadians' shopping lists. But experts say there could still be some bumpy road ahead for retailers. It's encouraging, but we're not out of the woods yet. We've seen some impressive gains across a number of categories. Vehicle sales, home sales, total retail sales, some job losses have been recovered. Uh, but we're still down about one and a quarter million jobs compared to when the pandemic first struck. At this Calgary car dealer, that turnaround is easy to see. Uh, what we have here is a Cherokee Trailhawk. It's a mid-size SUV, fully equipped. In my opinion, the best value in the Jeep brand lineup. Can you keep them on the lot? <laughs> Not a chance. We have our lot attendant rearranging our inventory daily to make it appear as if we have more inventory right now. That's how much we're selling. Car sales shot up more than 50% across Canada in June. And on this lot, well, they think they know why. And if you lock uh, Canadians in their homes for two months and they're not able to go out and spend their money the way that they used to, what we're finding is a lot of people are actually able to save and put away so they have larger down payments. So Canadians are buying again, but how they do it is shifting in this pandemic. Online sales have increased by 70%. The question now is if that shift and this retail rebound are here to stay. Aaron Collins, CBC News, Calgary.